Now, now, there's a lot of love that you're spreading on the new album. Yes. That you named after your mother. Now, me and him, yes. was getting, he got mad at me today. I'm like, why is she naming after her mother? Because well, she wanted to name after her mother. Like, all of a sudden, you got your little buddy over here want to take up for you. Uh oh! But since I got, I'm sorry. No disrespect. You're a bitch! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sierra. Really? <laughs> Tell us why the name of the album, why you went in this direction. Yeah, you know, album. being a new mom, I, I now know what it's like to be my mom's shoes. And I really understand what that, the word responsibility has a whole new meaning to it. That is, it's, it's just kind of like it only, it made sense to me. It really marks the most special time in my life. You know, having my son has been necessary for me. It's been life changing um, and, and life changing in the, I think, the best way possible for me. And um, I feel like I'm a mini Jackie right now. You know, I know what it's like to protect. <laughs> Um, you know, and have to have to protect and have to think ahead and I know what that feels like. You know, you can understand why your mom would say no, no, no to this and you think she's saying no just for no re for mm -hmm. you know, for it just to say it. But now you understand what all of that means and so that's where my inspiration came from. And truthfully I'm very expressive on this album. Like I am probably the most expressive I've why? ever been. Why are you um, expressive? You didn't feel like you was expressive on all the other albums? No, I wasn't. You know, I, I think um, I was very guarded, you know, when I first what? started, because you don't know this world that you walk into is a lot, you know, what, everything that's happened to me has happened in front of the world. Like I true? wasn't fortunate enough to have the training and like a lot of show practices before I came to the world. Like my third show of my career was on 106 and Park. Mm. So everything that I've been doing has been happening like at real speed, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, I forget where I was going with that. Why am I saying <laughs> this for? Um, um, where are we? Come on, help me. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically. No, you, you're going on, you, you're, you're in the, you're going in the right direction just as to why you're doing what you're doing at this particular point with the album and why you called it the Jackie, Jackie called yeah it. so everything has been happening for you oh being guarded that's where I was mm -hmm. um yeah but I was really guarded because when I first started um you know I don't it's feel like, that way but you know this really is me. no but I, I felt really, like you was always pretty expressive in showing of yourself well through my music more than anything like, okay that's true. you know when I would do interviews I would kind of be like don't say but so much because you think people are going to try to manipulate your words I remember having a bad experience where someone took my words and like Switch but that just so happened the other day. The, and, the listeners. But did let it. me tell you now, though, is I understand it. Like now, I've had my, I've gotten my stripes, I've gotten my punch, I've got punched a little bit, I've got all these hits and everything happening, and now I've gotten my, I've gotten the, I, I have the um, wisdom, you know, and um, and so I understand things way differently. And now I understand that you better say what you think and say exactly what you feel because if you don't. At least I know. At least I know I've said what I felt, mm. and um, okay. and I can live with that. And I also know that people are going to twist words, but I I can rest yeah. my head knowing what I said and be confident in that. And so, even for example, in that interview that you're talking about, like I reposted the interview because I love the interview and I was very honest about what I felt. But people want to take it and manipulate it, and that's just what media does. And ah, so, but okay, there was no way. There was no way. Basically, y'all, uh, th there was some question asked, and there was some similarities. Of like something with Beyonce and other entertainers, females, and it, it looked like it. They tried to make it seem like she took a shot at Beyonce, which she did not, because you were clear about you having love for what everybody else is doing, but you were in your own lane Absolutely. doing you. right, right. Yeah. So I don't see how that could be misconstrued or misunderstood. They want to. They took. They take the hook line. They take the one line that stands out. And that you want to be different. That you want to be Sierra. Your name is Sierra. Yeah, they they try to. They, they tried to, and, and like you say, I was very clear. I said, if you're gonna post something, post the whole thing, you know? Don't just don't just take a part of it. Like, write the whole thing, because the thing is, is if I'm not asked a question, I won't say it. I mm -hmm. won't say the answer, but I was asked a question, and I answered it. Mm -hmm. I answered it, and I answered it honestly. And with respect, like I've always said I have respect for B, and you know, she's a hardworking woman. Like, you know, every time we, you know, people don't understand how hard it is to really keep it going in this industry. To last for almost 20 years is very amazing. Like, I'm on my 12th year, but B has been someone yeah, that's been so around for a been long time. Yeah, I'm going on my 12th year. And so, you know, yeah. B has been someone, yeah, it's amazing. And um, God is so good, I have to say that. But, you know, B is someone that's been around for a, a long time and she still is fresh and beautiful and, you know, and she's still rocking it. And I think people really don't understand how it's so hard to last. Like, through the ups and the downs of this, so you can't do nothing but, but show respect for people when that mm -hmm. happens. So it's like, I, I that's just what my that's where I stand with it. So I would only spread love, but people want to take things and twist them, and that's on them. Why is yeah. Sierra still here? Though I'm glad you brought up the the, the number, because you know, let's be honest, most yep. most stars they get the if they're lucky they get 
more than one hit. But oftentimes, you know, it's one hit and then they're gone. Mm -hmm. But to be able to sustain, you're like, what, this album number six, to be able to sustain, like you said, 12 years, I didn't even realize. It seemed like you just started about four years ago. <laughs> but I guess, you know, but that's how time, time is sometimes to us. But why do you think that you're still able to, you know, people still know who Sierra is. Mm -hmm. You know what, um, I, I believe, I think it's just that simple. Um, I, I, I say to my show that, you know, you really have to understand the power of believing and having dreams and having goals. You know, when I first started, I wrote on a sheet of paper, no lie. I had three goals. My first goal was to get discovered. This is once I discovered, once I knew I wanted to do music, I was like, what am I going to do with my life after high school? What do I think I could be the best at? And I, it just spoke to me. Music is what I'm going to do. And so I wrote down on a goal sheet. My first goal was to get discovered. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote down how to do it. And then my second, mm. second goal was once I got discovered, I wanted to sell three to four million records. And I actually sold five million um, for my first album. And then the third goal was to have longevity. And so I, I really believe in the power of speaking things, believing things, um, you know, and saying exactly what it is that you want to do. Like people don't understand how powerful that is. Like your dream starts and ends with you. And I'm going to say, and I will continue to say, I'm going to be here for a long time. And I believe in myself that way. So. You know, I, I that's where I, I, I come from with it. Go back to that step one. You said in the step one it was what? I wanted to get discovered. And you knew and you figured out you plotted. I wrote the plan down as, how to make it happen. How okay what was that? So I'm I was like, curious. I'm gonna go I said I'm gonna start auditioning for stuff. I'm gonna start doing all the things that would get me, you know, closer discovered. to the goal. Yeah, and and um I was like I'm gonna, you know, enroll in like talent shows and things like that. So that's kinda what I did. Where did you finally get found at Sierra? The I don't funny remember. thing is that None of the things that I did actually <laughs> <laughs> made it happen for me. Um, it was a group of kids I was sitting at a table with and we were talking about what we wanted to do with our lives. It was like a real cool dream session. It was like, were we talking about like, what do we want to do? Like, what are our dreams? What are our goals? And one of the guys that happened to be at the conversation was aware of a group that needed um a that needed a um a member a third member and so i auditioned for the group I actually auditioned over the phone and mind you again i had no training on singing or anything so when i was singing on the phone i don't know why they wanted to see me because i was a hot mess uh, <laughs> i was losing um but either way they still wanted to see me mm -hmm. um and um i went there and auditioned i was way more comfortable and confident then and um, everything worked out, and then the group situation clearly didn't work, and so I, conti I continued my solo career and signed my first publishing deal when I was 15 years old. Hmm. And then 16 years old, I signed my deal with Arista Records and L.A. Reid, so um, that was kind of my journey. But yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you, when I knew, when I decided I was going to do music, um, I literally had goosebumps, and I, I, my eyes were filled with tears. Like, mm -hmm. I, I felt it in my soul that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and so I think it was also a spiritual thing too, to be honest with you, how it all kind of happened, because it is very funny that two weeks after I start talking about that, you know, that it all started to happen, Pattern. but I felt it. How big is the sacrifice that you have to make? Oh my gosh. To do what you do. It is so big. Cause you everybody, know? you know, you, you do realize most people look at you, oh, she's beautiful. It just happened. She just made it. <laughs> she just snapped her finger and fame. Oh, occurred. it takes so much work. I remember back when I was in high school, I'd be like, all right, friends, I'm going to disappear on you guys in a month. Um, so I'm because I'm gonna be really focused like this I would do things like that like I'm going like you can't really reach me I'm gonna get lost in my work and you know of course you couldn't be going to a lot of the fun activities after the football games and stuff like that like when I was in high school I, I really did cut out a lot of the super fun fun normal things mm -hmm. because I really wanted to just be super committed and focused and honestly now having a child I was just saying to my best friend how it is a lot of work and you really have to be focused like you can't you know you don't have time for the silly stuff like you just can't like if you I'm like there's there's this threshold of like for me I want to be great mm -hmm. and there's um you can have talent and all that good stuff but being great it takes work like you can be given a God-given talent but it is up to you on how far you want to go with that That's right. and when you are reaching you know for the top and striving for to, to be great you've got to put the work in and so that's how I see it I'm, I just can't be lazy like it's just not an option